Well, welcome to video, I think it's probably 95 Matt, now, of my Napoleon Total War Russia campaign. Fought on very hard on the campaign and also on the battle. Thanks very much for all the kind compliments that have come from lots and lots of people. Uh, one or two people have um, little niggles, of course, but uh, I do my best to resolve those. But unfortunately, you know, when you're as old as I am, you know, um, it gets quite tricky, you know, to be able to do everything at once. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so no thanks for the age comments. Um, but, uh, anyway, there you go. I think enough said about that. I don't think I'll go on about that anymore. Um, thanks very much, though, for the um, uh, bits of advice. Uh, um, Venny um, said to me that um, that the unicorns are, are pretty good, so I, I'm thinking about going for those, certainly. So that, that's what I've been waiting for more than anything, really. A bit of feedback on the, uh, the unicorns. I wanted to know if it was worth going down that route. But it takes a long time to get them, um, especially the 20-pounders. You know, you're building the technology for them. And also the... Um, uh, the experimental houses, although I've only got four of them, I could put one in each army. It's not quite as many as I'd like, and of course I've got no mortars. Um, but the French don't seem to go for fortresses, so it's perhaps not such a very bad thing. Anyway, onwards and upwards. The first thing that I'm going to do is, um, having taken Vienna, I'm going to get rid of that uh, Viennese port, um, wherever it is. It's already damaged. I think it's the one that I went through. or well, anyway, somebody damaged it. There it is. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to put... Um, uh, a dockyard in there so I can start building a decent navy once I've got the technology in place so that I can get these 80 gun steamships. Oh, again, I'm grumbling again, I know, but I'm a bit disappointed that I can't get 120 gun ships to the line and that I have to steal them from the French. Not that I don't enjoy stealing them from the French, of course. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Um, up, up in um, uh, Warsaw. Ah, now I'm going to try and repair the fort up in Warsaw, but I've got peace at the moment, so I might be all right. So I might come back and do that in a minute. Um, I am though up in Warsaw, going to must be up here somewhere. Uh, look at that. Do you know? I pointed it in the right direction, and it's gone miles away. Where are we? Uh, it's possibly because I didn't point it in the right direction. <laughs> Um, right, okay, um, I'm going to get this uh, logging camp here. We've taken Warsaw fairly recently. Logging camps are good for um, aiding the building of other buildings, or the construction of other buildings, I should say, but also it increases the income. So, I'm going to get one of those. Now, um, I've noticed, well, I've noticed it some time ago, to be quite honest with you, but uh, uh, I, I've not thought that I'm in a position to be able to upgrade it because it's risky territory, but there's a gold mine hidden around here somewhere. There you go. Uh, steam pump gold mine. Now here's my suspicion. I'll not have the funds now to be able to... Why do I keep going too far? I keep going up to Courland when I'm going for Warsaw. I don't know why I'm doing that. But anyway, here we go. Let's have a look. Ah, as I suspected, not enough funds to be able to do that. But that's the least of my concerns at the moment, really, the, the fortress there, because I'm at peace anyway. So, Okay, now up in Courland, if I get the right place this time, uh, I'm going to be recruiting up here. Um, I'm going to get some Ulans. Well, I say some, I'm going to get one unit of Ulans, because it's probably all that I can afford. So just get one of those. I'm going to add those to the bridge army when I get the chance. Um, now, I'm hoping to swap some of my generals round. Now, I've got nothing against the Italians, but Italians leading Russian troops, I'm not sure that's the best way to go about things, really. Certainly not the most historical way, I don't think, to go about things anyway. So, what I'm going to do, if I can find him, while I'm fiddling about, and I still detest these flags being so similar, actually, I really do. Um, it's probably this one, is it? Oh, no, actually, no, that was Bennigsen, wasn't it? He was coming over. Yeah, it is. Um, no, no, it's south of Bennigsen, and it's this chap here, isn't it? Um, there he is, Defendi. He's, um, it's probably Defendi, isn't it? Um, he's got um, three stars on there, and um, I, I don't want him in charge of such a good army like that, I don't think. So I'm going to put him over to um, Budapest. And Buxhauden, who's one of my notable generals, oh, let's speed that up a little bit, one of my notable... Oh, why hasn't he gone in there? Why haven't you gone in there where I asked you to go? Because huh, you can't reach, that's why. Oh well. Uh, over in Belgrade here was um, a minimum number of troops. I've got Buxhauden. It's just an absolute waste, really, having something like Buxhauden in a place like that. So I'm going to bring him over to the to the bridge crossing, where he may well be required to bolster the morale of some of the troops there. 
Uh, thanks for letting me know, by the way, about the uh, blowing up of the buildings. I think it was SH that gave me that one. And uh, uh, he said if I aim at the... Um, uh, what is it? The uh, the columns, perhaps, or the buttresses, or whatever, of the bridge, I can blow it up. So that would leave them then with only one crossing. That would make a substantial difference to those battles. So thanks for that tip. I hope people were, were reading the comments, because that's a very, very handy one for river crossing battles. Anyway, um, over in um, Sophia... I have a university down here somewhere. In Sophia. Uh, I know it's down here somewhere. Is it this one? I think it might be this one. Yes, it is. What I'm going to do with these gentlemen is take them out of here and I'm going to put them somewhere else. I'm going to start stealing some research and see if it makes a difference because um, at the moment we're not doing very well um, in researching in there. Oh, it's an arms factory. I could have swore. There was a university nestled around here somewhere. What's that? Mining complex? Arms factory? I could have swore it was around Strasbourg. Maybe it isn't. Certainly not Switzerland. Um, it's deep in French territory. I have looked this one up as well, so I'm a bit disappointed really that I'm not able to find this easily. It was... I wonder if it's because there's a... There it is! Look at that! Right under the fog! That's, uh, look at... Oh, the fog's clearing a bit now as well, so there we go. Let's send that one over there. And then go back and get the other one, because unfortunately with gentlemen you can only move one at a time. Where is he? Is it this one? Come on. Yes it is. Right, okay. Um, Sophia has almost um, completed um, its tech anyway, so it won't make much of a difference in taking those out. So where on earth are we again? Don't tell me I've got fog over it again. Oh, look at that. There you go. Clouds again. Modern University. I'm going to put that in there as well. So it'll slow him down a bit, but if you look on here, on the, um, I've been looking all this up, of course, Sophia is only two away from completing its research, which is the, um, the quicklime shells, you know. Nice to have, of course, but we're only two away, and you can see even by taking those two gentlemen out, it's made no difference at all. I think we were on two before. It might have been one, but it makes little, little difference. So I'm going to see if I can steal some of these researchers that are taking me so long. I mean, look at this. 38 and 26 it is to, to get those. You know, so let's see if I can pick them up some other way. Okay. Uh, right, well, we've run out of money. I seem to have moved everybody. I've checked my um, spies and I can't see that um, uh, that any of those need to be moved. Um, this one down here in Galicia is on the move. I think I, I, ch I checked all these in advance. There you go. He's already on the move. So I don't need to do anything about those, I don't think, at this stage. So, and uh, I think this is a continuation of um, of the previous um, video, 94. So I think I've already kicked the minister. But just have a look at it. it won't do any harm. Yeah, I've already kicked the minister, haven't I? So you can see he's doing nothing. So you can see where we're up to. Um, so welcome to video... Um, I haven't gone into the next video yet, have I? No, I haven't. Welcome to video 95. Looks like this could be the end of this video, and um, I hope just to do the turn end now. So, this is um, going over to the second part of May in 1809. Right, I'll speed up my movements so you can see them. In fact, I might even speed up everybody's um, this time. Uh, because I can't see that anything significant is going to be happening while we've got peace with everyone at the moment. Well, I say everyone. It's only Spain, really, that we that, that are likely to pose us any problems. I'll keep it on fast anyway so that you can see the whole thing go through. You'll remember by the way, you saw those French fleets there, that, um, that I'm raising some um, uh, 80 gun ships of the line in my port. Uh, it takes eight turns to get those, which sounds like a long time, but when you think it's only um, um, half a month per turn, then that's four months. So, Oh, right, what have we got here? Trade agreement. No, I don't want a trade agreement with you, <laughs> um, because what will happen is if, if I get a trade agreement with uh, with Britain, um, th they're um, a big trader, which means that about half of my trade would go to them, but since their port is blockaded, and I haven't seen any evidence that it isn't blockaded yet, then um, I'll simply lose half of the value of my trade going to them. So that's a definite no-go. OK, these are the Spanish moves. I think you can see that there's no big risk there. Uh, they're just moving around in their own country from what I can see. But of course we can only see where the spies are, or we can see what travels along the, um, the trade routes. 
Well, let's um, come to the end of that particular video now. Um, I'll start the next video on the um, uh, this now, the second part of May, and that should be video number 96.